um, uh, several tools in Photoshop, um, such as the colors, pen, and brush tool. Um, first of all, there, when looking at colors on the screen, um, you want to select what color you want to paint or draw with. So there are two types of colors. There is the background and the foreground. Um, so if we scroll down to the bottom of the screen, I can see the main color. This is what my brush will be like. And there's also a background color. Um, so this is what my background looks like. Um, you don't necessarily need to know these two colors for the brush and pen tool, but you do need to understand them. Um, so there are two here. And if I click this little switch, I can switch them back and forth. So I can always have two colors. Too. Um, these matter a lot with some different effects in Photoshop. We're not going to deal with them necessarily today. So always get back to black and white. Just simply click that and you can go back to black and white. Um, now to see your colors and your swatches, you can also see colors up here. You can see your color tool show up so you can change the color and then swatches these are various web colors that I can choose from so these are the main colors that I usually pick from um, however there are tons and tons of other tools in Photoshop so if I click for instance if I click on the white foreground color my color palette pops up or my color picker um, and within this I can choose any color and get very specific um, the cool thing about this is, is that it gives me the actual code if I were going to put this into the web or in a style sheet right here. And I can choose only web colors and it shows me more safe browser colors. Um, but you can see if I wanted to put this on the web, I could simply just put this number. And that's how you choose your colors. All right, now, brush and pen tools. If I click this icon, I'm going to see a brush and a pen tool. First, we'll start out with the brush. Um, as soon as you select one of these tools, notice at the top of the screen there are some options. First option is the type of brush. You can pick the size and hardness. And there are many different kinds of brushes you can choose from in Photoshop. Then I have a mode, or not a mode, but I can click this little icon here. I can also click it here. There are two types of places to click it. And this just gives me some different kinds of options and lets me actually pick a different kind of uh, texture to choose from. Um, and I can play around with all of these if I want to. We're not going to do that right now. You guys are going to play around with them in class. And here are some different types. Again, the brushes that we saw before, here is what they actually look like. So I can choose one of them if I want to. And I picked one. Alright, then to use the brush, I just simply paint. Now obviously I'm not trying to paint anything right now, but this is how you use the tool. Um, then we have modes. We're not going to go into modes today, so just keep it on normal for now. But there is opacity. What opacity means is how much do I want to be able to see this. So like if I pick 30% opacity, look how clear it is compared to the 100%, which is right next to it. And we can zoom in and see that. All right, and we're not going to mess around with the other two options today, so let's just keep it there. Now we look at the pen tool. Pen tool is very similar. Again, top of the screen right away we see various sizes and types of pens. I click mode. I can also click that at the top of the screen here and it brings up my art panel. I can choose various kinds of effects as well as I can take a look at what all the different pens look like. And I select that and I can paint. And that is my pen tool. Um, so that covers the pen tool, the brush, and colors. Thank you.